Hey class, let's explore one of the fundamental concepts in biology, the levels of organization, from the tiniest cell to the entire organism itself. Understanding this hierarchy is key to grasping how complex life forms like us are structured and function. So, let's get started. It all begins with the cell. But even within a cell, there's an intricate level of organization. Cells contain organelles, which are like tiny organs within the cell, each with a specific function. For example, the nucleus is the control center, housing the cell's DNA, while mitochondria are the powerhouses, generating energy for the cell's activities. Ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis, and the endoplasmic reticulum helps in the production and transport of proteins and lipids. Cells aren't all the same. In multicellular organisms, we see cell specialization, where cells evolve to perform specific functions. For instance, nerve cells are long and thin to efficiently transmit electrical signals, muscle cells are designed to contract and produce movement, and red blood cells are uniquely shaped to carry oxygen. This specialization allows for greater efficiency and complexity in the functions that organisms can perform. When specialized cells with similar functions group together, they form a tissue. A tissue is a group of specialized cells that work together to perform a particular function. For instance, muscle tissue is made up of muscle cells that contract to produce movement, and epithelial tissue forms protective layers on body surfaces and internal organs. Now, when different types of tissues group together, they form an organ. Each organ has a specific function in the body, and it's made up of multiple tissues that work in harmony. Take the heart, for example. It's an organ composed of muscle tissue, connective tissue, and epithelial tissue, all working together to pump blood throughout the body. Next, we have organ systems. An organ system is a group of different organs working together to perform. Closely related functions. The circulatory system, for instance, includes the heart, blood, and blood vessels, all working together to transport oxygen, nutrients, and waste products throughout the body. Finally, when all the organ systems come together and interact, they form an organism. An organism is a living being that can function on its own. It could be as simple as a single-celled bacterium or as complex as a human being. Each level of organization, from organelles in the cell to specialized cells, tissues, organs, and entire organ systems, builds upon the previous one, creating the intricate and functional living systems we see in the natural world. And that's how life is organized, from the smallest organelle to the whole organism, with cell specialization playing a crucial role in the diversity of functions that life can perform. It's fascinating to think about how each level of organization is crucial to the functioning of life as we know it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more science content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.